Pyra Dude. representing for Reggae Britannia. And we're here with the beautiful Zara McFarlane. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Your dress is absolutely amazing. How does it feel to be at the Pre-Mobile Awards? It's lovely to be here. I'm really enjoying myself already. <laughs> well, you were the winner in 2014. Tell us about that experience. It was pretty nerve-wracking, actually. It was in um, the massive venue in London, and when I actually won, I had to walk up, you know, past all these people and onto the stage. In front of, I think it was in Wembley, actually, at the time. And I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is even happening. It's one of those things that you, you don't even realise that it's happening. It doesn't feel real until quite a while afterwards. Amazing. For many people that sort of know about you and they understand the genre of soul, such as jazz in the UK, do you feel that your genre is getting the respect that it's needed in the UK? Right now, there's a lot of things happening with jazz right now in the UK, UK jazz, and it's bubbling, you know. People are actually really appreciating it. Promoters are putting it on, press are um, advertising it and promoting it. So I feel right now there's definitely a movement happening, something quite special happening, and people are taking notice, so it's good. Well, there's a lot of of jazz artists that are fusing into different genres as well, Um, and one in particular is reggae music. Would you ever chance it and say, oh, I'd like to have a hint of reggae within my jazz music yeah my recent album is actually just that it's a mixture of jazz and caribbean music jamaican music and tell us about the uh, influences of that as well so my parents are jamaican and um it's always something that i've been experimenting with jazz and reggae my last record i did a cover of police and thieves which is a junior mervyn um track and, and why particularly that track that one because it was one of the songs that I remember as a kid like it was just like almost like an anthem for us in our house and um, it kind of held very special to me and very dear to me so I I heard this idea of kind of mixing it with jazz and we did it and it had a really good response so I've kind of been doing that for a while but more subtly but this new album has got much more of the Caribbean rhythms in there as well so you'll hear it and you'll hear more strongly the different Jamaican influences. For a lot of up and coming jazz artists out there who say you know what I'd like to have a fuse of different music, be it reggae music, be it a bit of rock, be it a bit of hip hop. What would be your advice to them if they think, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the reception that I should from my current followers? I think it's something that you have to just be brave and do it. I think if you really believe in what you're doing and you're you're trying to do something that you're really passionate about, I think when you're passionate about something, it carries and people feel it and it's genuine. I think that's always really important to do that with your music. Just be genuine as yourself and people will hopefully believe in you. And if they don't, at least you knew that you were genuine for yourself. And out there for all our reggae warriors watching, who would you say is your most influential reggae act out there? New act or old act? Give us both of them. Gosh, old act. I would definitely, oh, there's so many, though. Like Gregory Isaacs, Ken Booth. I love the Congos right now. I'm listening to a lot of the Congo stuff. Like I'm actually listening to a lot of old reggae stuff right now. I'm loving all the rock steady stuff as well. Because I've been delving back into that music. Out in LA. Just love it. Amazing. And what about the new acts that are out there at the moment? I need to check out some more of the new guys, you know. I think a lot of the things that, like you said, in the UK, they're fusing reggae and jazz and all these different things. And that is really exciting for me right now. So I've been checking up on those guys, really, doing that stuff. And to get hold of your music, how do our reggae warriors get hold of your music? How do they find you? It is in all good record stores, <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, um, YouTube. You can check me out on all those platforms. Amazing, Zora. Thank you so much for speaking with Reggae Britannia. Thank you very much. Great stuff. We're out. Living in a bamboo hut In a 